that's the spice of life. Hey there, how are you doing? Thanks for joining me for another episode of Bitcoin and Coffee. I'll be your host, Eugene Forrest. So, happy Fork Day, everyone. Apparently today, you know, Bitcoin Cash, they're splitting off. We're a few moments away from that happening. Um, shortly after here, you know, we'll have another altcoin. Woo, right? So, let's see what we're taking a look here with the market cap. We got uh, nine, $91.3 billion for a market cap. Uh, you know, headed back towards the $100 billion mark, which is absolutely wonderful. Uh, this is due to the increased price in Bitcoin right now. Uh, the price is being pumped up due to the fact of the split. Um, but shortly on the other side of this, we're going to be looking at the price being pumped up as, well, as soon as... You know, segregated witness moves forward and everybody starts realizing all the potential that's going to be happening to Bitcoin. Uh, you know, we're looking at $5,000 hopefully here before you know it. Uh, we got $3.2 billion trade in the last 24 hours. This is pretty good. Um, we had been seeing trading in the high ones, low two area. So the fact that we're up to $3.2 billion in the last 24 hours, that, you know, that's not bad. Uh, we got a dominance of 50.3% right now, and uh, it's going to be falling because a lot of people bought into Bitcoin just to get the you know free cryptocurrency, as they're calling it, from the split, and they'll be buying back into their altcoins after. So what do we got for prices? Well, it looks like everything is up in the market right now. So, you know, as I always say, uh, high tide rises all ships. Uh, so we got Bitcoin coming in at $2,804. That's up 1%. Uh, we got Ethereum coming in at 216. That's up 10.4%. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, you know, 10% on top of anything you got is always wonderful, right? We got Ripple coming in at 16.8 cents. That's up 2.7%. Uh, we got Litecoin coming in at 42.21. That's up 5.8%. That's not bad. Hopefully, we can get back to the $50 area now that we're seeing all the prices come back to, you know, some stability. Uh, you know, we're getting past the, the fork and all the fear and FUD that was happening. So, hopefully, we're going to be moving back towards, uh, you know, a bull market. Uh, we got uh, NEM coming in at 16.7 cents. It's up 2.6%. We got Dash rolling in at $179. That's up 3.4%. And we got Ethereum Classic hitting $14.05. That's up 5%. Uh, we got Monero at 41.08. That's up 2.5%. And we got Zcash coming up at $180. That's up 5.3%. Um, and ooh, looks like Steam's not doing the greatest today. Steam is down to $1.13. That's down 6.2%. And we got the Steam back dollar. That's way down, 83 cents, uh, down 12.5%. So. Uh, what are we looking at here for news? Well, you know, with everything that's happening with the user activated hard fork, um, you know, we don't really have a lot that's going on with the news. A lot of people were looking back and Coinbase has released a statement saying that the slowdown of everything that was happening was due to, uh, you know, the increased number of users trying to get their cryptocurrency off Coinbase. Uh, this was, you know, due to the fact that Coinbase isn't, isn't supporting the BCH uh, token. So uh, with this being happening, uh, you know, everybody was moving their funds out, trying to put them, you know, either on their own private wallets or to another exchange that's going to be supporting it. And uh, they have restrictions on their hot wallets, uh, you know, to help prevent hacks. And, you know, they said that they, it was going as fast as it could go. Then they had to start manually entering addresses. But it looks like it was taking about 12 hours. Um, I think it took me about eight for mine for what, you know, Bitcoin I had on Coinbase. I took that off. Uh, you know, everybody holds a little bit on there. Um, besides that, I pretty much got that the, you know, the guy in Pennsylvania that I was calling a scumbag who, uh, you know, got arrested for stealing some laptops and jewelry and pawning it and then said that he stole 40 to $50 million in, uh, Bitcoin, um, you know, they're holding him in jail. They don't really have much evidence on uh, the fact of him stealing this Bitcoin, they're saying now, but they're not really letting him out of jail. Uh, they're saying, well, if he's saying that this is true, you know, that he's at a high flight risk, but they're saying that if he's just lying that, you know, that this guy's pretty much a moron. So I think this is a funny story to see it continuing to unfold in the news here of, you know, this hacker or whatever who has, you know, can't even keep his act together living at home with his parents and it has a seven-year-old child that he's not taking care of apparently uh you know this is hilarious but you know at the same time you know can't really laugh at people's misfortunes but uh to go out there and to make a bad situation worse by lying and saying that you're a mastermind of cryptocurrency hacking is is not you know the smartest move 
So everything that's happening with Bitcoin Cash, I'm sure that we're going to be seeing problems out there. Uh, I'm sure that we're going to be seeing some of these exchanges not be able to handle the amount of volume of people trying to uh, deposit Bitcoin in there and, you know, do whatever they're going to do with this BCH token. Uh, so I got to warn you guys to be careful, uh, you know, that there is nothing wrong with just letting today go by, keeping your eye on the market and, uh, you know, waiting till tomorrow, waiting till some things are more sure, waiting till, uh, you know, just like the, a lot of these exchanges are saying that, you know, the network is going to be unsecure. Uh, there's nothing wrong with waiting just like they are uh, and doing something with your BCH token after. Um, you know, I mean, you'd rather be safe than sorry. Uh, you know, you've put a lot of work, you put a lot of effort, you've done a lot of trading, you've learned a lot of things about cryptocurrency to go out and get your Bitcoin. Uh, the last thing you want to do is, you know, accidentally lose it or get ripped off by somebody just because you're you're trying to pick up, uh, you know, few dollars on a hundred pretty much you know uh i know that the price for it is up right now but i'm sure that after it stops becoming a futures trade and comes over to the real market you know this is going to just end up being another altcoin i don't believe that this is going to be the next bitcoin and you know the bitcoin that we're all using and looking at right now with segregated witness coming on board uh being the altcoin and us you know switching over to the bch token so if you like everything that's going on here on bitcoin and coffee i need you to hit that subscribe button like i keep saying the numbers are growing around here and that's absolutely amazing uh this is way more than anything i ever thought it was going to be uh you know i was on ken bozak's channel last night and that was great uh i had a great time talking with him um you know and uh my other friend over there uh john crothers was on there from crypto therapy uh so i mean it was nice seeing him i'm wishing him all the best with his appendicitis uh you know that has a real horrible thing having to go through surgery and everything but you know we were we want him to have a speedy recovery out there and uh continuous bringing us uh his youtube videos the parody ones are always hilarious you got to love him for that uh, so, as always, there's a list of tools down there below to help you navigate these cryptocurrency markets. Uh, I got my email address out there so that it's a free help desk service to be able to help you out if you got questions or you just want to talk or, you know, whatever. Hey, man, just shoot it to me. It's eugeneforest20 at gmail.com. Uh, I also have affiliation links down there to get you free BTCs, doggies, Litecoin, uh, bad Bitcoins. You know, watch out for the scams, guys. They're all over the place. You know, half of cryptocurrency, if, if it's not something that's securely trusted uh and it, it's a scam you know they're always promising stuff stay away from all the stuff on the faucet stay away from the commercials uh you know a lot of icos are not the greatest and so you know donational addresses if you got a little extra cryptocurrency uh steam price is down but you got to get over there you got to keep posting you know free cryptocurrency that stuff adds up right and if you can upload my post it's a great way to help out the channel and as always people keep your bitcoin safe